Straddling the USA and Canadian border, Niagara Falls is a popular place to visit, especially in the summer months. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share the things to know before you go to Niagara Falls. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls can be visited all year round, but to experience all of the attractions in and around the falls at their best, the best time to visit is from June to August. Summer is peak season because the average high temperature is in the low 80s. You can enjoy a light breeze from the falls to keep you a little cooler, but you can also dry off quickly after getting soaked in the cave of the winds, which we definitely recommend doing. Plus, there is a free Discovery Niagara shuttle which runs throughout the summer months. You could also choose to visit in autumn. It offers a different experience with beautiful colours in the state park, as well as harvest season in the local wineries. Unfortunately, the main attractions do close over the winter period, but if you are in the neighbourhood, we recommend you head into the falls as they freeze over. So now let's look at getting there. The nearest airport to Niagara Falls is Buffalo, New York, but you could also fly into Toronto and catch a bus or train service to Niagara. If you are traveling from New York City, you could choose to get a Greyhound bus, but these can take up to 11 hours. If you are traveling from the Canadian side, there is also a train station that you can easily catch a train from Toronto and other nearby cities. Or whether you are traveling from New York or Toronto, you could choose to drive there as well. This takes around six and a half hours from New York and around an hour and a half from Toronto. So now let's look at how to get around Niagara Falls. Walking is the most popular way of getting around, with most sites within a short walk from one another. Driving around the centre of Niagara Falls can be difficult, with very little parking available. Bicycle rentals are available around the falls and there are some great bike tours to be had as well. On the Canadian side, you could choose to visit the wineries or head to the Whirlpool jet boat, but you will need to either take a taxi or drive to get there. So now let's look at the typical costs. Private rooms in budget hotels will cost around 60 US dollars, whilst mid-range hotels will begin at 100, but these can go up in the warmer months. Luxury five-star hotels start at $200, but expect to pay much more than that if you would like a view of the falls. There are plenty of places to eat around Niagara Falls, with both sides offering various restaurants, predominantly chain places. So expect to spend at least $20 per person for a dinner. So Niagara Falls is not the cheapest place, but there are ways to save some money. If you are driving, we recommend that you stay slightly further away from Niagara Falls because hotels further away offer free parking or reduced prices. Also try to visit in the off season. You could head here in October or March when hotel rooms are cheaper, but attractions are still open. On the Canadian side, there are plenty of attractions to choose from, but you can get discounts if you use Groupon when you are getting tickets. There are various passes available on both sides of the falls, so take advantage of these if you are planning on visiting lots of sites. For example, the Clifton Hill Fun Pass offers six different attractions on the Canadian side. We will leave the link in the description below. So now let's look at the best things to do in Niagara Falls. There are so many things to see and do. From April to November, you can take the Maid of the Mist into the falls to experience the full force of these incredible natural falls. The Hornblower Cruise is available from the Canadian side and runs from May to November. On the US side, you should check out the attraction Cave of the Winds. This is an opportunity to walk under the falls and feel the full power from above. On the Canadian side, there are so many fun attractions for families. You can go on a journey behind the falls or take a whirlpool jet boat for a thrilling adventure. There are plenty of evening attractions here too, including the Sky Wheel, Wax Museums, Skylon Tower and Casino. Watch this video to learn about how to save money in Niagara Falls, then to learn about some of the most popular places in the USA. Watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.